Okay, once more. This is for glitches. It's code walkthrough. Uh, it takes random workers, walks through pixels, and changes them. I'll just go over the highlights. Starts with go. You get a bunch of random coordinates. You get a, a, can, a context of a canvas. You have a number of iterations for each uh, coordinate you got. So you have 100 coordinates. You'll start off this crawl function on each of those coordinates. Each gets its own uh, lazy sequence from this next px. And with that lazy sequence, you pass it the starting coordinate and you pass it some sort functions. Right now we have brightness and distance to x, y. That's how it'll find out which pixel to pick next, which one's brightest, if they're equally bright, which one is closest to the middle. And then here's a function that we're going to apply what we want to do to that, um, uh, that pixel and how many times we want to do this. So here's crawl. Takes the context, the sequence, a function to apply, number of iterations, applies the function to the context with the first pixel from the sequence, if we have more iterations, it calls set timeout on the window, 100 milliseconds, and then calls this anonymous function, which is just crawling in with all the parameters passed in, the same context, the rest of the sequence, the same function, and then uh, iterations minus one. Uh, darken is a function I was using before, just takes all the uh, RGB values and makes them all lower uh, by a random amount. Uh, lower alpha. Same thing, but just with the alpha, but it's not random. It just drops the alpha by 40. So if you find a pixel, it can every pixel it finds, you can tell it lower the alpha. That make it more invisible. Uh, next px is a function that generates an anonymous function, which generates a lazy sequence that calls itself uh, as the next step in the lazy sequence. Finds the surrounding pixels according to the coordinate you give it in the context, and then it sorts those using all the functions that you passed in. Um, to do sorting, namely in this case brightness and closest to a certain pixel, and t sorts those with those, gets the first one, that's the next, puts that as the first in the sequence, and then the next element of the sequence is to take that, feed it back into the same function, and get the next, um, uh, get the pixel for the, the surrounding pixels of the one we just got. Multi compare, uh, when you're, if you um, partially um, apply the list of functions, then it becomes a sort function that just takes two values and takes each function uh, in order and applies that to both values and then compares those. If it's something that's usefully comparable, then we'll just return uh, the result. Otherwise, if they're equal, then we'll take the next function and apply that. And If we don't find anything that um, gives us uh, something comparable, we'll just return true. Uh, some convenience uh, pixel functions, distance to xy. Um, this, if you do this with two different coordinates, say um, two coordinates, and then you're trying to find the distance to the center coordinate, the closer one will have the highest value, so it's easily comparable. This function is the opposite. The farthest away will have the highest value. Canvas convenience functions, paint it white. By default, canvas doesn't have any data. Everything's zero, so you need to paint it white to get some alpha values, otherwise they're all invisible. Get the context. Lower alpha, interesting about this, is that you have to create an image data so that you can set the alpha. And in order to set the alpha because of this weird data property, which is a canvas pixel array on that image data, um, I use a JS macro to fill in um, all that, um, all the data in that data thing and then uh, modify the alpha by the delta and then put it back in. And drawing a pixel, because we're not using alpha, we can just set the fill style to a color and then fill a one by one rectangle. Uh, pixels gets all the pixels and their colors surrounding a pixel. So chords around will be all the valid coordinates around a certain coordinate. And then we'll call the RGBA function on each of those coordinates to get all the colors. And then we'll just create a list of maps that are coordinates and colors. And RGBA, uh, again, because of that weird um, data property of the get image data, uh, we have to call this px array to vector, which is, uh, uses the JS star macro to do the array access into C0, 1, 2, 3, and then just puts those in a vector. Coordinates, convenience gets all the um, valid coordinates around a, a coordinate. HTML colors, random darker, uh, uses uh, this color digits string, and then just takes each of these RGB values and uh, gets a value up to that value, but uh, somewhere between that value and zero at random, and converts to a hex string, takes all three of those, and strings them together with uh, pound sign to get an HTML color string. And this one uh, just gets each of these digits directly to complete, com uh, make a completely random string. Uh, this is redundant. I didn't need that because the range is only six long. Uh, rand color digit 
uh, picks a random value between 0 and 15 and goes into that color digits uh, heterogeneous list and picks one of them out and returns it. Doesn't matter if it's int or string because we're just going to string it up later on. And to hex string just takes any int value, makes sure it's between uh, 0 and 255, and then creates a two digit hexadecimal uh, representation string of that value. And random has a couple convenience functions to uh, create random pairs up to a max. So say our canvas is 300 by 300. This will create us a, uh, a coordinate pair that is between 0 and 300 for the x and 0 and 300 for the y. Uh, and yes, it would have to be rectangular. Or you're going to only get a subset of that canvas space. And rand up to just goes between 0 and, a, and clamps down the random to a maximum number. And that's it. Thanks for your patience, and I uh, hope I was able to help somebody. If you want more details, by all means, send me an email. Uh, I'd love to uh, explain anything you want.